Good morning, grade 6. Today we make some exercise on chapter 9. So, open your book, page 179 and 180. Exercise number 1, page 179. We have that Kevin will make some money babysitting today. He owes his, bro his brother $10. The amount of money he will have left M is equal to his babysitting earnings E decreased by 10. So we have that M is the money that he has. E is babysitting earnings. The equation is equal M equal E minus 10 because M is equal to his babysitting earnings E decreased by 10. Decreased meaning minus. So M equal E minus 10. We say that the dependent variable is the variable alone. The independent variable is the variable near the sign of plus minus time or division. So we have that in this case the dependent variable is m because m is alone and e is the independent variable because it's near the sign of minus. Exercise number 2, page 179. A teacher grades four assists each hour. The total number of assists she can grade E is equal to 4 multiplied by the number of hours H she spends grading. So we have that E is the total number. H is the hour she spends. So the equation is E equal 4 times H because E is equal to 4 multiplied by the number of hours H. So E is equal 4 times H. The dependent variable is equal E. The independent variable is equal H. E is alone, so is dependent. H is with times, so is independent. We want to use the equation to complete the table. Exercise number 3, page 179. We have the equation y equal x minus 1. So, if we have that x equals 6, we put in the place of x 6. So we have y equal 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is equal 5. So y is equal 5 for x equals 6. If x equal 8, y is equal 8 minus 1. We put in the place of x, 8. 8 minus 1 is equal 7. So y is equal 7 for x equal 8. If x is equal 10, y is equal 10 minus 1. We put 10 in the place of x. So 10 minus 1 equal 9. So, for y equal 9, we have that y equal 9 for x equal 10. The same exercise, but in this case we have the equation y equal x over 3 plus 2. This is exercise number 4, page 179. So, if x equals 3, we have to put in the place of x, x 3. So, y equals 3 over 3 plus 2. 3 over 3 can be written also as 3 divided by 3. And the 3 divided by 3, we know that is equal 1. So, 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is equal 3. So for y equal 3, x is equal 3. Now, 
For x equal 9, we have that y is equal 9 over 3 plus 2. 9 over 3 can be written as 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is equal 3. So the, it will be y equal 3 plus 2, equal 5. So for x equal 9, we have y equal 5. For x equal 15, we have that y is equal 15 over 3 plus 2. 15 over 3 is equal 5, 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal 5. So we can, write, we can write 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is equal 7. So for x equal 15, y is equal 7. Now, we want to write an equation for the relationship shown in the table, and then we want to find the unknown value. We have that for x equals 3, y is equal 0. For x equals 5, y is equal 2. For x equals 7, we don't know the value of y. For x equals 9, y is equal 6. So, which operation we have from x to y? We have that 3 minus 3 equals 0, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 9 minus 3 equals 6. So we have that x minus 3 is equal y. So the equation is y equal x minus 3. Okay. And for x equals 7, what is the value of y? We have that to we have to put the play in the place of x seven. So y equals seven minus three. Seven minus three is equal four. So y is equal four for x equal seven. Exercise number six, page one hundred seventy nine. We have this table. For x equal 8, y is equal 2. For x equal 12, y is equal, we don't know. For x equal 16, y is equal 4. For x equal 20, y is equal 5. Which operation we have between x and y? We have that 8 divided by 4 is equal to 16 divided by 4 is equal 4. 20 divided by 4 is equal 5. So we have to divide it by 4. x divided by 4 is equal y. So the equation is y equal x divided by 4. For x equal 12, we have to make y equal 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal 3. So for x equal 12, y is equal 3. Now, we want to solve exercises number 7, 8, or 9, page 180. We have a daycare center is ordering chairs. The table shows the total cost based on the number of chairs ordered. So if n is equal 3, c is equal 54. If n is equal 4, c is equal 72. For n equal 5, c is equal 90. For n equal 6, c is equal 108. We want to find a pattern and write an equation. So, we want to, to find the relationship between n and c. We have the 3 times 18 is equal 54. 4 times 18 is equal 72. 5 times 18 is equal 90. And 6 times 18 is equal 108. So, n is times 8 is equal c. So, C is equal 9 times 18. This is the equation. 
how much uh, will it cost the center to order nine chairs? So they ask me, if n is equal nine, c is equal, we put in the place of n, nine. Nine times 18 is equal 162. So for n equal nine, c is equal 162. Okay, if the center if the center spends one hundred eighty dollars on chairs, how many chairs does the center purchase? So, if C is equal one hundred eighty, what is the value of N? We will have to write in the place of C one hundred eighty. One hundred eighty equal nine times eighteen. We said that the equation with times when we want to find the value of C, we transform it in division so n is equal 180 divided by 18 that is equal 10 we have this table we want to make the graph for x equal to y is equal 5 so we want to find x in the x-axis and y in the y-axis and we put the point where the two line meeting for 3 and 6 the same 5 and 8 the same 6 and 9 the same now we want to find the value of y for x equal 4 we want a line so we put the point in the middle, so we can say that y is equal 7. So we have a line, and you write 7 in the table. The same exercise. For x equal 1, we have y equal 1, and we put the point. For x equal 2, y is equal 3, we put the point. For x equal 3, y is equal 5, and we put the point. For x equal 5, y is equal 9, and we put the point. We want to find the value of y for 4. We want a line, so we put in the center, in the middle. So, even in this case, we can say that is 7. So, for x equal 4, we have y equal 7. And you write 7 in the table. We want to graph the linear equation. We have y equal for x minus 3. We can put the value x equal 1 or 2 or 3. We substitute the value of x in the equation. So for x equal 1, we have 4 times 1 equal 4. Minus 3, 4 minus 3 is equal 1. So for x equal 1, y is equal 1. And we put the point. For x equal 2, we have 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is equal 8. 8 minus 3 is equal 5. So for x equal 2, y is equal 5. And we put the point. For x equal 3, we have 4 times 3 equal 12. 12 minus 3 is equal 9. For x equal 3, y is equal 9. And so we have our graph. The last exercise. Here we have the point. Okay? We have that x equal 1, y equal 5. x equal 2, y equal 6 x equal 4, y equal 8. We want to find the operation between x and y. We can observe that 1 plus 4 equal 5, 2 plus 4 equal 6, 4 plus 4 equal 8. So x plus 4 equal y. So the equation is equal y equal x plus 4. Good study. And bye.